So we uh, we have had some rain, so things could get wet here. But I figure coming back to the Ocklawa River here, uh, if it does get wet, we can always just go out onto that road that hikes along the river. And I know that that will be nice and dry because it's up high. But uh, you know me, I always like to see new stuff. So this isn't a hiking video. This is a resilience video. So if you're trying to see the, the trail, now this is all new to me. So you will see some of the trail, but let's get going on the trail. You don't need to... Look at my ugly mug. So, uh, this is kind of a computer slash uh, resilience talk. Um, I don't know how many of you got that helicopter money that uh, that just flew in. You know, I hope you're putting it to good use. Uh, maybe getting some food or, uh, uh, you know, anything that, uh, like I said, uh, part of the resilience is looking around. And if inflation does come, as I believe it will... And, you know, things are going to get really, really expensive. You know, I would be thinking about what you what you want to get. Let me adjust that camera just a little bit. There we go. I would be thinking about, you know, anything that you might need. Now, in my case, you know, a new office chair. Uh, put in, bought a new uh, APC power supply. We talked about that. And then, uh, you know, I kind of realized that I hadn't upgraded the computer's in quite some time uh you know i got plenty of computing power but uh you know just for example my wife's using a, a laptop from 2007 that i bought the old hp dv 6t it's been a really wonderful laptop i mean the fact that it's still going of course i've i've rebuilt the operating system on that thing a couple of times and you know now with windows 10 it won't even <laughs> you can't even apply the updates because it's the hardware and it's so old you know even though i've got you know the an ssd hard drive in there so it's made it a lot faster you know but there's only so much you can do with old hardware and uh and my wife's getting frustrated with it you know she doesn't do a whole lot but look at email and you know get on the internet and do some googling and i tell her to duck duck go yeah this is this ought to be interesting it's a, you can tell that's a horse trail but that's good on the ankles. Um, here, let's, this looks pretty cool. Nice little open area there. Well, let's just keep on going. So, um, I, you know, and I have a um, another uh, HP Omen, which has been a fantastic laptop in, in, in most ways. Okay, let me tell you the drawbacks on that thing. Um, the display was awesome. You know, if you're going to get a laptop, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to spend the money. Don't get one of them little 13 inches, you know. I mean, I understand kids may want that. Oh, it fits in my backpack so well. Well, so does a 17-inch laptop. And, you know, when you when you get old, your eyes aren't so good. You can't, looking at that little bitty screen is just ridiculous. But, you know, some people like them. I, I much prefer a bigger laptop. But getting back to that Omen and, and the drawbacks and things to look for, well, the resolution on it was fantastic. You know, 1080p is nothing. You don't want to spend, I mean... For twelve hundred dollars, you're going to get 1080p, you know. And some people, okay, that's good enough for me. No, no. It, well, whatever. I wouldn't recommend it. You know, I would go with a. You got to get a better resolution, and then you're getting upwards of eighteen hundred to three thousand. You know, that's. But uh, spending the extra money, you'll never regret it. And uh, so, so I'm looking at my laptop, and what happened was, uh, well, first thing, the, the battery's made in China. So uh, the first battery went bad, and uh, it turns out that's an expensive battery in that laptop. And uh, and boy, I tell you, to take it apart, you got to take out about 50 screws in the bottom of it, and then it's it's real hard to pop that thing apart to get that battery out. And uh, you know, when I questioned HP, because it didn't last long. I mean, that battery went dead, and you know, maybe a couple of years. And the guy says, he says, well, did you, do you use the battery? I said, no, I usually just keep it plugged in, you know. And uh, he says, well, you got to drain that battery every now and then, you know. He said, so try to use it on the battery from time to time, and that should extend the life. So in the second battery, I did just that. I would, you know, sometimes I run it on the battery and, uh, you know, put in a kill switch so that I can kill. That's another thing is uh, your computers, um, they're vampire devices, uh, so you want to put them on a kill switch of some sort 
so that uh, when you're done for the day, especially when you're like me and got four computers, you just hit that kill switch and boom, everything's uh, is without power. Uh, same with the TV, you know, TVs are vampire devices. I got my TV on a kill switch, so basically when I leave my office, everything's dead. So it's not drawing electricity, which is good. But uh, so, but getting back to the laptop. Um, so, uh, you know, all of a sudden, the, the laptop is just swelling up. This is kind of... Well, you're really back in here, aren't you? <laughs> you know, hope there's no bears around. Just a little old me. You saw the parking lot completely. I'm way... I mean, this... this area is way out in Florida I mean you you know that's uh, you're off the grid right here for sure but uh, I'm back to the laptop so um anyway the thing started swelling up and I was like what the hell's going on and you know what was happening was that battery was just expanding inside the laptop and I was worried it was going to explode you know those batteries can explode and then bye bye laptop you know so now here I go again I got to take the damn thing apart pull the battery out and then where do you recycle it at? I could not find a place to take that battery. And you know, I'm an environmentalist. So I don't want to throw anything in the garbage that, unless I have to, you know. So I went to Best Buy, they wouldn't take it. I finally, we found a recycle place and they took the battery. Wow, this is interesting. And, uh, but so now I got the laptop again without a battery. Now you think I'm gonna put any more money into that stupid thing to to buy another battery for it, you know, because I think it was like, it was hundreds of dollars, if I recall. It's been a long time. Yeah, we may have to go back out to that road because this is getting really too, too horsey for me. Well, we'll go a ways further. I was hoping, I mean, see it goes that way. Well, let's go this way. It looks like it might uh, might not be quite so, so horsey this way. Uh, really narrows down up here, doesn't it? Interesting. All right, so uh, so now I got one laptop that's 2007. I got the second laptop that's, uh, you know, old. it's pretty old, probably 2011, maybe, maybe a little later. I, I don't remember exactly when I bought it. And, uh, and no battery in it, so I can't even use it unless it's plugged in. So, you know, with that helicopter money, this is where I'm getting at. Yeah, and this is gonna get too muddy. Yeah, because of the rain. Looks like it's just going, well, man, I gotta see what that, that is back there. It looks like a gate of some kind. But, uh, so I said, well, you know what? Yeah, I am making videos and I do want to learn how to use the uh, DaVinci software and put in some special effects. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been playing with it. I got, I'm not, I'm, I know about one tenth of, of the capabilities of it, you know, maybe even less when, you know, and I've got 90% to learn. So that's going to take some time. So this is tough hiking here. And uh, so I decided, you know, I would get another laptop. And so I looked around at various brands, you know, and uh, the Omen. Well, number one, they were out of stock. You know, like I told you, the supply chain's broken. So there were no Omens. And uh, plus the, the specs on it really haven't changed all that much since I bought it years ago. I'm thinking, well, hell, I don't want to get the same laptop. Plus all the problems that I had with it and how hard it was to get apart. And the battery, you know, it didn't last twice. So uh, I went with the, um, I caught, well, actually I contacted MSI. And to tell you how crappy their technical support is, you know, you're sitting there and I said, I said, well, look, I said, I'm trying to make videos. I said, I want a, a laptop. I said, I don't care how much it costs. You know, I do. I mean, I can't spend $5,000, but you know. And I said, I, I want something that's good for making videos. We don't know. We're not allowed to recommend anything. I said, well, your technical support. You work on the damn things. I said, which one is the best one for making videos? And I, I'm going to tell you what. I chat with that guy for, I bet, an hour before. I said, can't you even ask somebody? I said, ask somebody in your damn department there and, and see what they say, you know. And uh, I said, finally, finally. He says, why don't you look at our creator series? Now, up until that point, and to tell you, was that hour worth it? Well, yeah, I did, I did not even know MSI had a creator series you know until he told me that and so when I got on their website you know I'm looking around and you know I just because I've been looking at the gaming laptops I always go where the gamers go because uh, they usually have the best of the best you know as far as hardware goes so um, anyway I found the uh, creator 17 inch 
Uh, and you know, you, you can buy the lesser lesser model, but I I went ahead and bought the Cat Daddy, and uh, and it was 2,800. I mean, so that that took all the helicopter money right there. But now, look at what I got. You know, I'm going to give my wife the old laptop and get rid of that old 2007 laptop and uh and then you know now i can use that creator lap and it screams man i mean it's a <laughs> it, it is nice i mean you get what you pay for and uh and and boy the resolution on that thing uh like three 380 by 27 something or 28 something and uh so it's going to be wonderful you know for me to get educated on making videos you know and uh granted i'm just scratching the surface right now so that what the thing that got me like i said that's why i said this is going to be a computer slash resilience video is uh when they sent me the laptop you know they always do this crap and it just pisses me the heck off you think if when you're spending that kind of money you know why are you going to have bloatware on the on the laptop you know what i mean i mean you well, i understand they got to make money because you know that's they get they make money when you put bloatware on there and uh so but i mean there's, there's when you're spending that kind of money you should not get it you know on a cheap laptop yeah because they're not making you know their margins are not as as steep so anyway i, I get the damn thing and uh you know the first thing you know that blew my mind was it's called a creator laptop right so you'd think they'd have some editing software on there now they have this thing called the Creator Series, and I haven't really played with it. I'm not sure. I, it doesn't look like anything to me. But of course, the first thing that I did was put uh, DaVinci on there, you know. Uh, and then, you know, all of a sudden I'm looking. You know, I also, you know, here's some down, downloads that you're going to want to do. So you see, it's just, it's just kind of ending right here. Huh. It looks like a. I wonder if that's just the road. Here, let's take a look. Ah, I think this is just the road into the uh, the area, so I've just looped back. Yeah, this is just the road that I came down to get to the parking area, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is... Okay, so that was a waste of time. <laughs> we didn't go nowhere. All right, <clears throat> back to the... So you've, I downloaded Revo Uninstaller. That's a piece of software. Just it's R E V O, uh, Revo Uninstaller, and I, I use it. It's better than the Add and Remove programs in, in Microsoft because uh, uh, that doesn't. A lot of times that leaves a lot of trash behind. It just does the main. You know, people these companies they provide the uninstall mechanism and then they leave behind. You know, a lot of trash on your computer. And Revo is uh, really good about, you know, going the, the second nine yards and, you know, getting all of the uh, the trash left behind from, from an install. So the first thing that I noticed was they have Office 365 installed on the damn laptop. And I'm not talking one. I'm talking every language probably on the planet. You know, there's, there's about 10, 15, 20 installs of Office 365 because, you know, I guess it's a different install for every language. And I'm thinking, well, hell, I don't, I don't even, you know, that's another thing. I don't use the cloud, okay? Uh, you know, it's up to, for, I mean, when I say I don't use the cloud, I don't do my uh, my documentation on the cloud. I don't store my poor passwords on the cloud. You know, that type of thing, all right? And so 365, and that's another thing. I don't pay a monthly fee. You know, if I pay for something, it, you know, I'm not renting it. I want to own it. And, uh, and that's it, you know, you, you pay that one thing and you're done. So uh, I use LibreOffice. So that, the first thing was it took me forever to uninstall all that 365 garbage, you know. So I, got, I finally got it all off. Not completely clean, but, I, you know, that Revo, if I had just been patient, because a couple times it just seemed like it was hanging, and it would take forever to uninstall, and that's just the way it was. It just, I don't know why it took so long for it to uninstall the 365 so that was the first thing the, the next thing was they had norton uh, on there now i'm i'm an old timer man norton is terrible was terrible I, maybe they've improved i you know i hear them advertised quite a bit but uh but i'll tell you what i mean would you want to talk about dragging the performance down on a computer 
I mean, when you years ago when you put Norton on there, it was just a you know boom. What happened to my computer? <laughs> you know, it, it used to scream. Now it's it's slower than hell. You know, so uh, and then so I looked at it and it's just bloatware. You know, it's a 60 day license. And of course, you know, I'm, I go to uninstall it and it prompts me 16 times. Are you sure you want to install it? You know, you've got 60 days left on your, th and you know, that's what it'll do. Uh, it'll worry the hell out of you. You know, when you get to about 30 days, it'll pop up, you know, to purchase Norton, do this, you know, and you know, I don't want to buy it. You know, I'm just going to use my 60 day free trial license. <laughs> Uh, next time you cut the computer on boom you know if you want to buy norton you know and so you, you're going to get all of that crap and i don't want to put up with that yeah you know, windows windows defender does okay uh and of course you got malware bytes i throw that on there and uh that's another download you want to get is malware bytes um you can get the free version and some people buy the paid um it's a it, i tell you what it it does pick up uh viruses and and things on your computer that the uh, defender um, will miss you know defender's not the greatest piece of software for virus protection i'm sure that uh, probably norton now would do a better job but uh you know why do i want to pay for norton you know and i probably i bet it's a yearly fee now who knows uh when i get defender free and it does okay and i always just run malware bytes so the free version you know you got to run it on your own so you got to remember you know when you cut your computer on to bring up malware bytes and run it you know but, you know and, and you don't have to do it every time but I'd say a couple times a week I always run it because I want to keep my my definitions up to date because if you do lose access to the internet you know for a little while you you don't have the latest definitions and uh, every time you run malware bytes it down, downloads the latest definition okay so that was the next thing so I uninstalled Norton and uh, that's about as far as I've gotten you know and then of course I installed Libre uh, office that's you know my office tool for uh, you know word word documents and uh, Excel, and of course they don't call it, they saw it, call it calc and uh, writer, I, you know, <laughs> yeah, I guess for, for copyright they couldn't name it the same thing, you know, but uh, I, I like Libre, it's really nice, uh, what else, oh of course Seat Cleaner, you want to get that, you know, so I ran that after I uninstalled everything and let it pick up a, a few things, uh, and then of course put the Firefox browser on there, and of course Microsoft tries to steal you, steal you into that edge browser i hate that damn thing you know i i want to be able to customize my browser you know i want to have favorites and you know that that edge is great for a phone but on a computer i man i so i you know i i, I don't even know if you can uninstall it but of course i remove the you know clean up the desktop and get those icons off of there and then of course i moved internet explorer onto the desktop which is you know it's an okay browser and some websites about explorer will work on that you know, Fire, Firefox won't. Of course, and then I also put Brave on there. Brave's another browser that's uh, pretty private. And, uh, you know, just telling you some of the things I did. This is getting pretty long. We'll shut down there, and uh, and then I'll make a resilience video.